The younger generations in the United States, specifically Generation X and Millennials, face a significantly increased risk of developing 17 different types of cancer when compared to their older counterparts. Greetings everyone. Today we will be delving into a significant topic regarding the younger generations in the United States, which includes Generation X and Millennials. It has been discovered that these generations face a higher susceptibility to developing 17 different types of cancer when compared to their older counterparts. Extensive research has revealed a concerning trend of escalating cancer rates among individuals born after 1920, particularly in the cases of pancreatic, kidney and small intestinal cancers. Disturbingly, mortality rates are also on the rise within these younger cohorts, indicating a potential burden on the country's healthcare system in the future. In order to combat this issue effectively, it is imperative that we address the underlying risk factors prevalent in younger populations. Additionally, improving access to healthcare services is crucial for achieving better outcomes. With that being said, let us now proceed with our in-depth discussion. According to Dr. Huna Sung, the lead author of the study and a senior principal scientist at the American Cancer Society, these findings contribute to the growing body of evidence indicating an increased risk of cancer in generations following the baby boomers. This expands on previous research that focused on early onset colorectal cancer and a few cancers associated with obesity, now encompassing a wider range of cancer types. Birth cohorts, which are groups of individuals categorized by their year of birth, share distinct social, economic, political and environmental contexts that influence their exposure to cancer risk factors during critical developmental stages. While we have observed trends in cancer rates based on birth years, the underlying reasons for these rising rates remain unclear. For this examination, Data on the occurrence of cancer was gathered from a staggering 23,654,000 patients diagnosed with 34 different types of cancer. Additionally, mortality data was collected from 7,348,137 deaths related to 25 types of cancer. These figures were obtained from the North American Association of Central Cancer Registries and the U.S. National Center for Health Statistics, covering the time period between January 1, 2000 and December 31, 2019. In order to compare cancer rates across different generations, the researchers calculated birth cohort-specific incidence rate ratios and mortality rate ratios. These calculations were adjusted to account for the effects of age and time period with birth years analyzed in five-year intervals ranging from 1920 to 1990. For the past century, researchers have observed a consistent increase in the occurrence of certain cancers among different generations. Specifically, the incidence rates of pancreatic, kidney and small intestinal cancers have been two to three times higher in individuals born in the 1990s compared to those born in 1955. This trend is seen in both males and females. Furthermore, liver cancer showed a similar pattern, but only among females. In addition to these specific cancers, nine other types also exhibited an increase in incidence rates among younger generations after a decline in older generations. These included estrogen receptor positive breast cancer, uterine corpus cancer, colorectal cancer, non-cardiogastric cancer, gallbladder cancer, ovarian cancer, testicular cancer, anal cancer in males, and Kaposi sarcoma in males. When comparing the rates of the 1990 birth cohort to the lowest incidence rate cohort, there was a significant difference across all cancer types. The incidence rate for ovarian cancer was 12% higher, while for uterine corpus cancer, it was a staggering 169% higher. It is worth noting that mortality rates also increased in younger birth cohorts for certain cancers. These include liver cancer among females, uterine corpus cancer, gallbladder cancer, testicular cancer, and colorectal cancer. This suggests that not only are these cancers becoming more prevalent, but they are also becoming more deadly in younger generations. Dr. Ahmedine Jamal, Senior Vice President of Surveillance and Health Equity Science at the American Cancer Society and senior author of the study, emphasized that the rise in cancer rates among younger individuals reflects a shift in cancer risk across generations. This increase serves as an early warning sign for the future burden of cancer in the country. 
if population-wide interventions are not implemented effectively, and if the heightened risk in younger generations persists as they age, there is a possibility of an overall surge in cancer cases in the years to come. This could potentially undo the progress made against the disease over several decades. Dr. Jamal further stated that the data underscores the urgent need to identify and address the underlying risk factors specific to Generation X and Millennials. This knowledge will be crucial in developing prevention strategies aimed at reducing the incidence of cancer in these populations. Lisa Lacasse, the president of the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network, ACSCAN, emphasized the significance of affordable and comprehensive health insurance in light of the growing cancer burden among younger generations. She stated that ACS CAN will persist in their efforts to encourage legislators to broaden Medicaid in states that have not yet done so. Additionally, they will advocate for the permanent establishment of the enhanced tax subsidies provided by the Affordable Care Act, which have granted millions of individuals access to essential healthcare services. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like, share and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.